and talking show, Craftversations, where this month our guest is the very sassy, the very oh. beautiful, oh. Julia Cho. Hello. Hello. You may remember her from Hipsterhood, from like so many different things that she's been in, and probably most of all you remember her from the Lizzie Bennet Diaries. Yeah. So. A little web series you may have heard yeah, you of. might know about Starring it. Starring this lady here. <laughs> also you. Yay! Thank you, Julia, for being here. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited to yeah. craft with you. Me too. I it, Actually, it's funny because I'm not very good at crafting, so well, people I know who know I'm going to be on this, they're oh, yeah? just like laughing at me. <laughs> You're not the first one okay. to say okay, that. Cool. Yes. And everybody has come out unscathed and has made a good craft, so yes. I believe in you. Thank I, you. I think it's possible. Today, we're going to be making some cool cut canvas wall art stuff. There's a tutorial that I found on Pinterest that I will link in the description below, but if you want to craft along, here are the things you will need. You will need a canvas. Ta-da! This one is like nine... I don't remember the dimensions. Nine by, nine by 13 maybe? Nine by 13 maybe. It was a cheap one. You don't have to spend a lot of money on a fancy canvas, but you can if you want to. An X-Acto knife, a pencil, and cutting a cutting board to cut on. Obviously, be careful at home, children, using your X-Acto <laughs> knives. Oh, no injuries, please. And you will need a stencil. So I just looked online and printed these out. You can just, there are lots of different patterns you can choose from and just, Pick a stencil that you like. Ta-da! So there we go. <laughs> and some tape. That's all you will need. So Julia, please. Yes. By all means, pick your stencil. Oh my. I uh, may or may not have uh, done a, a trial run on this craft. <laughs> <laughs> and I do recommend simpler is better for your first one. Okay. However, do not let me... Uh, dictate what you well, want to do. Well, I was going to say, I'm like, this is really nice, but, <laughs> but a little uh, straight crazy. lines might... Yes, straight, that's the other thing I was going to say. Curved better. lines are more difficult to do yes. than I... Like this guy, I don't think I'm going to Yeah, um, more difficult to do than do I Do you have a preference? I don't. Any of that you... Do I, do I dare try this one? Because it did catch... It's cute. Yeah. Yeah. Like, here, look here. All right, let's... You going to do it? Yeah. Let's Woo! Do it. Very brave, Julia Cho. <laughs> I like it. Okay, I think I'm gonna do this one actually. So I thought that might look cool. Yeah. On the canvas. So here's the. Mm, I was about to say here's the tedious part, but okay. it's, it's all kind of tedious. So awesome. So you're gonna put it up against your canvas. Okay. And um, essentially just tape it up. Mm -hmm. Um, looking through the back and you will <clears throat> then like tape it on here and then we'll go through with a pencil okay. and sort of stencil it on am the I, back. Am I not centering it or? You can center it or you can like just do it in the center or if you like because this one I'm gonna just I'll keep do it going. another yeah oh. like move it down and do another one so whatever you prefer. Also unfortunately <laughs> the tape does not really stick on the canvas very awesome. well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And now we use the pencil Mm-hmm. To go over the okay. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh now we trace. The you know what this kind of reminds me of? Like the ladies doing their um, needlepoint. Oh yeah. Back in the day. Yeah. In their tower. Yeah, we're getting back to our roots as females doing uh, right. doing intricate crafts in their spare time. So Julia. Yes, Mary Kate. It's so lovely to have you on the show. <laughs> Can you believe it's been three years since oh, my God. I started? I can't believe it. I just cannot believe it's been that long. That's nuts. Isn't it crazy? Why does it... Wow, it was that long ago? Yeah! <laughs> it makes me feel you really know why? old. You know, honestly, like, part of the reason why it's so hard to believe is that people are still, like, discovering that show now. Yes. And, like, send us lovely messages about um, what big fans they are of, of that show. So, you know... As they say, the internet is forever, yeah. and it, it kind of is a beautiful thing in that sense. It's incredible to me. I still am, like, kind of amazed that people loved the show so much. Yeah. Not that I don't think it's good, but I don't know. It's just hard for you to judge it when you're in it. And when right. people were just, like, telling us how much it meant to them, I was just kind of shocked. I was like, wow. 
wow, I mean, it's wonderful. That's yeah. what you always, like, want to be doing. Is well, and the, the, the fact that this little web series, like, went on to win an Emmy, yeah. like, that's, I mean, that's a pretty big deal. Bananas. I, totally bananas. It is fun. It is nice to have that bragging right, I will say. Yeah. People will be like, what is it? And I'm like, oh, well, it won an Emmy. So. I also love when people are like, oh, so is this something you and your friends create? I'm like, no, actually. People ask me that. Even last night, somebody thought that, I don't know why that is, that they think that you we know did what? it You know what, something ourselves. about like it, it being a web series, yeah. because it is so commonplace now for actors to kind of create that's their true. own content. That's true. <laughs> not that that's bad. That's no, great. not at all, but... I think there still is that assumption, like, everything on YouTube is very DIY. Mm -hmm. Seeing that it's been so long, do you feel like, like, how do you feel, like, now as opposed to you did, like, a couple years ago? Like, do you feel like the show has, like, served you since then? Or, like, is this still a part of your life, even though it's been a while? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's definitely, a, it, it was an act, like, it was a part of my life, and, uh... I would say like I would I would not have nearly as many people like know who I am right unless they were related to me or <laughs> <laughs> we went to school together well, or, that I think um, is the thing that I am most not most maybe but it's really nice that we have that when yeah it still kind of astounds me and I also try too. not to get too caught up in it um, yeah, that's smart. As, as grateful as I am for for the support um, well, there are times when I like look people up yeah who I feel like are like way more successful than me in terms of the stuff that they've done uh -huh. and then they have less Twitter followers than me and I'm like what I mean, I think so we are uh, really fortunate in the sense, like, you know, the website, like Lizzie Bennett Diaries, it just, it brought that kind of built-in yeah. social media savvy audience. It um, sure did. So, yeah, it's, but, you know, career-wise, I you know, I, I take it as, like, another project yeah. that I was fortunate enough to be a part of. And I'm sure you've noticed this, too, like, with TV and film, like, I feel like recently they've kind of caught on to this notion of like, oh, like online stars mm -hmm. are kind of worth looking into in terms of casting, but yeah. that wasn't necessarily the case when Lizzie Bennett's Diaries first came out, mm -hmm. so all the other like TV film stuff I think we were doing was still kind of in a separate world. That is very true, although you have done quite a bit of TV <laughs> stuff, I feel like. I yeah, feel like you've been pop on, up like, a show and have my, every, have my scene. Actually, <laughs> there was a time that I saw you at so many auditions, uh. <laughs> and you always booked it, <laughs> which is great. I'm so glad you did. But I was like, dang it, Julia's here. She's going to get it. <laughs> I'm glad. That's well, awesome. Yeah, it's. I mean, that's the weird thing about this business. I feel like there's no real rhyme or reason. It's so you know, like, true. It's so true. What are some of the favorite things that you've been on? Do you have any like experiences doing, you know, some of these different parts that you've done that were standouts in any way? Um, gosh, I don't know, because each one is, you know, it, sure. it's its own experience mm -hmm. and, um. As much as I would love to be like a series regular on a show and, and have that steady gig, it is, I do get a kick out of just showing up to a show, mm -hmm. working like one or two days and getting to put, you know, totally different character mm -hmm. and work with a completely different team mm -hmm. of people. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it's always just kind of fun. And also to, just to get an, uh, an idea of what the energy is. On each show, because mm -hmm. they're you know long the longer running shows, you can tell they're a well oiled machine mm -hmm. and things kind of clip along. Mm -hmm. And I've also worked on pilots where there's just like a different really excited energy. Mm -hmm. I haven't had as many experiences like that, and I am. It's cool that you like have gotten to where you're. You know, you're you're a pro with that sort of thing. <laughs> Whereas if I were to, I mean, I've been on a couple. I've had small parts on a couple of different TV shows, but it's still relatively new to me. No, so you're a pro I, too. Well, You've worked on you. plenty of sets. I wish. I I love that you do um so much film stuff. Actually. Well, I mean, thanks. It's not like, 
You know what I mean? It's not like I set out to do that. It just yeah, but I mean, the no way that it happens. You just never know like where your career takes you. It's like I so bet you true. never imagined that you would be um, hosting your own crafting talk show. I sure did. On YouTube, I, I yeah. never imagined I would be a guest on a crafting <laughs> talk show. Well, you're the tales of your crafting skills <laughs> run far and wide, Julia. Yeah. Um, you're doing so good. I'm you know very I'm impressed. My, I'm losing my tape. I know. My tape grasps. I'm sorry. No, I'm no, so no. Sorry. It's really fast. You were right to do more tape. That helps. See, that's not. Now I, I still need to you reinforce the tape, tape area. Tape. For doing that without making too much noise, whereas <laughs> me over here is like, wah, 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 wah. I don't know why my pencil is making so much noise. I was gonna say I was like, wow, your your pencil work, your sketching work, <laughs> very distracting. Yeah. Very sloppy. <laughs> I believe you were on the newsroom, yeah. I, I was, yeah. That's incredible. How was it being on an Aaron um, Sorkin show? It was it was really fun. Um, it was funny because I was playing a hotel concierge. Oh, yeah? And I was, like, in the outfit once I got on set. And I, I'm pretty sure at least one person, like, oh. addressed me as if I worked <laughs> at the hotel. <laughs> to That's be like, incredible. No, you know what's funny? Because I often play, you know, some sort of employee mm -hmm. role mm -hmm. like that. That also happened on the set of Grace and Frankie. Oh yeah, that's I was, what I just thought of. I was, actually. A store, I was a store manager of a Menchie's, and I was totally in costume. And I'm pretty sure Lily Tomlin asked me a question <laughs> as if she thought I worked there. Because <laughs> at one point we were like sitting next to her, and I was like, we were sitting next to each other, and I was like, oh my god, this is my moment to like engage Lily with Tomlin in conversation. Oh, yeah, yeah, Tell yeah. Her, like what an, what a huge fan I am of her. And then she turned to me and said something like, "You ever get sick of this?" And I was like. Oh, oh, like like set life, like waiting for the crew to set up the right. lighting, and she's like, "Gosh, I bet it's not." And then she she says something to the effect of like, "Some she mentions frozen yogurt or something." Or you ever get tired of eating? Or do you eat it all the time? I was like, and you're like, oh, oh no, I I don't work here. Oh, I'm, did you say that to her? Yeah, oh no, we kind of laughed about it. I was like, oh no no no, I oh my gosh, I don't work here. I'm in the scene, and then she's like, oh. that's hilarious. That's really but I thought funny. I thought she was referring to like you fooled Lily the Tomlin. actors, you know, grind. Right, right, or, right. That's really awesome that you've gotten to work with like. You know, yeah, I mean that was actors. a tra oh so on the newsroom I um I was in the makeup trailer and uh, one of the other guest stars was like oh have you met Aaron? It's like who? It's like oh have you met Aaron yet? I was like uh you mean Mr. Sorkin? He was like yeah he'll he'll come by he always wants to like hear the scene oh, out really? loud before we shoot I was like oh, oh what really? That's exactly what happened. Like he totally really? came uh, by in his um, sweatshirt, sweatpants outfit, no, um, with a baseball cap and his glasses. And I was like, oh my god, that's Aaron Sorkin. And we totally like, yeah, we like read through the scene in front of him, <gasps> and he wanted to hear it. Wow. Um, and he had he had notes for the actors. He gave me a little adjustment, mm -hmm. and then and then he like looks at me and he holds out his hand like this. And I was like, what's happening? <laughs> what's happening? And then I realized he wanted like a high five, but it was like a mid wave. It wasn't up here and it wasn't down here. It was like here. And then I don't know how long I stood there, but finally I realized, you were, oh, oh, you're high five. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was like, I just, I just kind of high fived Aaron Sorkin. That's incredible. That crazy. I, I feel like I would totally have that same. Like, was, what are you, what I, are you doing? I hope it wasn't as long as it felt <laughs> of me standing there, like just looking at him, like, oh my God. what's going on. <laughs> That's incredible. Yeah. Wow. Were you nervous? I would be so nervous if he came by and I was like, Ugh. Oh yeah. But you know, it's like, well, Aaron's here. We're going to have to, you know, we're ready to do the scene for Aaron. It's like, oh, yeah. You just, I mean, it's, it's, it's nuts. Some of the things like we have to do as actors and they don't always teach you this stuff that in acting so school. True. Like I've had to play like a corpse and a ditch. It's like, no <laughs> one teaches you how to prep for that. You just do you it. You should have a class. Corpse 101. Yeah, there is a crew of people waiting for you, and you don't want to mess it up as the dead corpse. Yeah, I've never, I've never gotten the privilege to be a, a dead <laughs> corpse. 
What show were you a dead corpse on? I don't know if this is a spoiler. Scandal. But Sinatra's is like, I, my character, do you, you don't watch the show. I don't. So you don't care if I spoil it for you. I sure don't. <laughs> okay, so I, my character gets shot. Oh. It was pretty intense. Like, were so you that a, is also something they don't prep you for. Were you a guest star? Yeah. Were you recurring? Um, kind of, because I was on three episodes, and oh. I was, like, super duper excited, but, oh, like, the first awesome. episode I shot, I was like, I'm killed, I don't understand why they want me back, mm -hmm. and I was like, ooh, flashbacks, and they're like, oh no, now they're gonna bury your dead body. Oh! oh. Wait, did you have to get in a coffin? No, so oh. here's the thing, um, I, like... I get shot, but then there are stunt doubles, and she was amazing, yeah. like, this other woman and I, our characters get shot and killed, and we were like, oh, we had no idea what was going on. We're like, oh, they might have us do it first, maybe, yeah. Uh -huh. Sure, yeah, and then maybe, and even the stunt doubles were like, they might have you do, you guys do it, and oh. if you feel comfortable or it doesn't look right, they'll like have us step in. Uh -huh. But no, they didn't even give us the opportunity. They're like, really? okay, so let's swap out, and then when we see what they have to go through, we're like, uh, yeah. Wait, what did they have? They did just they... Have, to, they have to get shot, and they like fall back, like oh. onto cement. Oh, And geez. then a couple of takes on a rubber pad. Mm -hmm. But then there are a few takes they had to do for, like, the realism, like, onto the cement. I mean, they had, they were padded up, but I was like, kudos to them. That is some amazing work. That's incredible. So anyway, people thought, like, that was me mm -hmm. doing that stunt. Uh -huh. And then when I filmed my scene where I'm now, like, a dead body in a ditch getting buried by uh, Scott Foley, uh -huh. they thought that was the double. Oh, <laughs> They're like, that was so cool. They had, they had like a double of you. I'm like, that was me in the dirt. Oh my gosh. With Wait, more so dirt you... getting shoveled onto my face. So it, that, they did? Yeah. <gasps> I and that, hate and that. It's, isn't that crazy? And then yes. you have like the crazy like coarse makeup. Oh. And I'm, I was just holding my breath. Oh. Just like, you're dead. You're dead. You can't, you can't breathe. You just can't. That's so true. That's so crazy. Right? I've never had to play dead like that. Or maybe I have, but not like, it was like some student film. I mean, not that anybody yeah. cared about my fine work as a corpse, because <laughs> all they wanted to know was what scuffle it was like. Oh, my hands. I'm starting to feel, <laughs> starting to feel the finger cramps. Crafting is serious business. It sure is. Sure is. You're doing. You're doing so. I just feel like you've just like got the lightest touch, and you're just you're a pro little, over little there. Little sketches. <laughs> if you don't, if you don't trust the long, long lines. You're really doing well. Short little strokes. <laughs> it's so good. And you're not making as much noise. When I'm over here like. I was gonna say it's like Mary Kate. It's grating. Please. <laughs> I don't know why, it's my pencil! Well, Julia, I would love to have you play a game we always play on this show. Oh no, I know what it is. Ah, uh, that little game is called Pinky Pinky Marry or Kill. I love that you say Pinky Pinky. <laughs> well, my mom may or may not be watching. Hello. Probably not. I'm Mary Kate's mom. <laughs> so Julia, I had yes. a hard time thinking of what sort of, you know, theme to go with uh -huh. for you. Yeah. But then I heard that you like this movie called That Awkward Moment. Oh, did I say that I liked? I watched it. <laughs> okay, maybe not liked. <laughs> I watched it. I you watched, wanted a movie. I wanted to really like it though. Because <laughs> I love all those guys, I do. Well, two of them, Miles Teller and Michael B. Jordan, yeah. will also be in the new Fantastic Four. I know, I'm super excited about that. Yeah, Those guys are great. I think they're just. I think, I think they're so. fantastic actors, actually. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna give you some handsome actors to choose from. Oh. So I'll give you those two. Okay. Miles Teller and okay. Michael B. Jordan. Oh, you don't want to include Zac Efron in the? He was well, also you, in that movie. Do you want me to? Yeah. Is Zac Efron? Was that too enthusiastic? <laughs> yeah. 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 Include Zac Efron. <laughs> okay, include Zac Efron. <laughs> there you go. Thank you, thank you, marry or kill. Okay. Those three guys. Wow. Okay. It's a tough. Decision. Now I gotta. You now I gotta figure this out. Yeah, okay. it's fine. Take your time. Pinky. Nobody's rushing you. Marry or kill. Kill is so I severe. Know, it's I terrible. know everybody. Yeah. Maybe Zac Efron. Oh. Because he's just. He's so pretty. Mmm. He's okay. so pretty. Yeah. I. I. Okay. I thought there was more to that in my head. <laughs> he's just. He's so, so pretty. pretty. Like if he were mine, let's say, and it's like no, if I can't have you. No, or, or maybe now that I've had you, no one else can have you, Ooh, or, Zach. Okay, sure. So I'm gonna kill you. Okay. Sorry. Or like. Sorry, Zach. Because you're so pretty now, let me remember you the way. <laughs> <laughs> let me, let me remember you this way. <laughs> 
I'm, I'm, I'm really trying to justify it's the fine. killing here. So it's, maybe Zach. You gotta kill, kill someone. Yeah. Fine. Just preserve that prettiness. For sure. Him. For all eternity. Sure, that sounds sure. really morbid too. Okay. It sure does. Um, but that's and okay. then Hanky Panky and yeah. Mary. Yeah. I'm gonna say, you know, Miles Teller. He's I. He's just fantastic in everything I've seen him in. But then he also gives off. He like I feel like he plays douche really well. Mm -hmm. So maybe he's a bit of a player. Maybe. maybe he's a bit of a bad boy. Okay. So maybe Hanky Panky is the way to go. Ah, with Miles. I think that's yeah. I think that's wise. And then Michael. He's just so he always comes across as so sweet and earnest and. Just like a good guy. Yeah. Um, he does. Also really good looking. Yeah, there's there's that. I just get a sense that he would be a really good husband and father. I'm into it. <laughs> Great. Well done, Julia. Thank you very much. Okay, you have to give me three handsome actors. Oh, okay. Oh, gosh. Wait, have you gotten Paul Rudd? Never had okay, Paul Rudd. Okay, let's go with Paul Rudd. Great. Okay. And you've gotten Adam Scott. Yes. Yeah. I used, Parks and Rec. used him, yeah, in the Parks and Rec one. Let's so close to the end, you're doing That's so good. well. Thank you so much. It's really killing it. Gosh, such positive reinforcement. Um, yeah, that's what I'm all about. Oh. Yeah. Ha! I finished this. Da, 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 da. I gotta add another row. Oh yeah, that looks good. I'm almost done. Well, some else are some good-looking funny guys. Mm -hmm. Ken Marino. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh okay. <laughs> we can include Ken Marino. All right. Let's include Ken. Okay. Ugh. This gets really difficult. Also, mine is going to be slightly off-center. I was going to say, it's like, well, those ladies in waiting for back in the day, yeah. didn't they usually have, like, an easel? They probably did. Dancing out a window, like... Sorry. Next next season on Craft Stations. <laughs> well, I, I was, was really expecting an easel. And we'll have a bigger window, budget. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I think I'm done. Wow, well done, Julia. Well done. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm so impressed with you. So we have both finished our... Uh, drawing on the back. Yep. Now we are to the cutting yep. phase, which Julia has already started. Yep. She's doing so well. Yeah. She's doing... This is the point where it's like, yeah, the, <laughs> I screwed myself over. Yep. Yeah! yeah. The curved lines yeah. are more difficult, I believe. Also, just going to reiterate, everybody be careful. Yes. With These your exacto knives. Sharp. They're so I mean, sharp. This, that's what you need. It is what you need. This can work. I haven't really used them much before. Yeah. Or it's been a while. You just haven't had these though? No, I went and got them oh, for, okay. for yes. this. And when I was like doing my trial run, I yeah. kept finding myself trying to put my finger like right next to it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, don't do that. Don't do that, don't kids. Do that. Okay. I can see how this can be very like meditative though. I That's what I enjoy the most, I think, about doing these things. Well, I don't have time to like craft on my own so it's really fun to yeah. have a reason to no this is super fun like i wish i could do more of these like that's my fantasy like oh, right. diy projects like maybe nice. a scrapbook and i just never get I used to, to really it. do a lot of scrapbooking when i was younger but you know when i had time and no responsibilities when we did the dragon Back eggs the with yeah. shanae yeah i really love i like i want to make more dragon eggs <laughs> i just can't like justify spending all the time d making them, but they're mm. so cool. They turn out really well. Thank you. So you had given me Paul Rudd. Oh yeah, and Kim Marino. Oh yeah, and Kim Marino. I got who else can we give you? Do you like Rob Corddry? Um, no. I don't. He's kind of got an intense look. He does. <laughs> have an intense look. <laughs> don't really have a huge opinion on okay. him. Isn't he in? Else? uh Warm bodies with yes, you yeah, know I quite friend. enjoyed him in that. I did too. I enjoyed him. I think he's good. I I like him and stuff. Nicholas Holt was really good in that. Yes, he was. He's also good in Mad Max. Yes, which I just saw. Did you like it? I did. Yeah, I really liked it. Too. And I mean, to be honest, I was not crazy about the trailers mm -hmm. I was seeing. Mm -hmm. And then just everyone kept hyping it up. I know. And I was like, all right, let me go check this out. And I was really taken with the story. Yeah. And the writing and, like, the aesthetic yes. of that world. I actually I haven't really... seen. Have you seen the original? I haven't. See, me neither. So I had no, like, basis of comparison. But yeah, same. Sometimes I think that kind of works in your favor. I think so, too. I mm. thought the world building was just, yeah. like, so incredible and yeah. well done and... Obviously, just like, kind of like the commentary yes, of that whole. It was really, really story. 
It was really good. I yeah. enjoyed it as well. Badass old ladies. Let's yep. put some more of those in. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Look, I did my first one. Ta-da. Ta-da. I like it. It's a... Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you just can't look too closely. Yeah. It's just... It's not... It's fun. This craft is not my uh, calling. This is not my blessed craft, but it's fine. Awkward. Um, <laughs> I wanted to ask you yes. about your artists at play yeah. stuff. So you are part of a theater, like yes, we company. call ourselves.